Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. This is a uh, quick and dirty chicken waterer um, that I put together using the little chicken nipples. It's upside down right now. I just banged it together. Uh, there's a little hose adapter and it was some sort of like uh, drain pipe. Uh, so it had holes pre-drilled in and I just had to enlarge them a little bit to, to fit the nipples in. And then here's uh, like a plug that kind of screws in and it friction fits into the end of this pipe so I can take the, uh, take the cap out to clean it and winterize it at the end of the season. So it's gonna, it's gonna sit like this under the coop with a, gra with a hose coming in there to the hose adapter and I'm just gonna hang it with some sort of perforated straps or rig up something to make it work uh, so that it'll hang under the coop in the sheltered area uh, where the water will stay cool. It'll gravity feed and I don't know. I mean, I this is just a test. I, I filled it up with water. It didn't leak. Um, the nipples all functioned well. This was just a piece of PVC pipe. The caps, everything is as you see it, except it was missing the nipples. And I got it off of that abandoned RV <laughs> that, uh, that has been on our property from the previous owner. I don't think he's gonna come and get it, but I think what I think this was is a fishing rod holder. He, it was on the roof of the RV, and um, it's the perf he could stick his fishing rod in there and, and then the water would drain out the bottom and it wouldn't condensed in there. So I, I took it and I'm reusing it. It's not very elegant and it's not very pretty, but hopefully it'll hopefully it'll function and then I can always make a better, prettier model if this works. So here's the finished water. Um, installed, I just used some perforated strap to hang it. Um, that will make it easy to remove. Because it's full of water and it's kind of heavy right now, but if I drain it, I can flip it over and just slide it right out of these loops. So it'll be easy to drain to clean uh, and remove for putting in the barn during the winter. So the chickens have gone right at it too. I've got a couple. These were uh, these nipples were pulled from a bucket system that I had, and the buckets blew off. They were full. Uh, they blew off in a bad storm. It must have really been uh, windy up here to move a five gallon bucket. And they were sitting in the mud, so there was a, an impact on a couple of these nipples. And uh, as you can see, it they leak. I think the valve seat has been damaged. I took them apart to try and clean them, but I think it's permanent. I've got some spares. Um, not all of them are, are uh, damaged. Looks like there's just two that have a steady drip. Um, I've got this hooked up to a 55 gallon barrel, so I don't need to tend to it right away, but I will change out these two damaged uh, nipples with some, with some new ones. And uh, So far, I mean, I've had it installed for a couple hours and the chickens really seem to like it. Prefer it much preferred to the uh, galvanized vacuum bucket, uh, the old the old fashioned style. Plus I like this because I don't need to fill up a five gallon bucket of water every day. Um, it's hooked up to a self feeding 55 gallon water supply. So it'll be interesting to see how many uh, many days I can get out of this if this is like a weekly refill thing or, or even longer because with this you know once I get these broken uh, valves fixed um, hopefully they won't waste as much water too because the, the, the area around the, the galvanized watering bucket is just drenched and I can't imagine that they actually drink five gallons of water every day um, 
so it'll be interesting to see like on a on a much more efficient level how much they actually drink i spent a, an hour in the hardware store plumbing aisle trying to figure out uh, a combination of fittings to adapt this hose adapter to fit in a piece of pvc pipe i couldn't find anything that made sense so i just mixed up a bowl of epoxy and said forget it and just epoxy the thing in there it works it's watertight um, it's not pretty but it does the job and I had some leftover epoxy and so I went ahead and just went around the end caps so I've got garden hose running under the coop to keep it nice and shaded and cool and also I put the the watering system on the north side of the coop and kind of under it so it will be in permanent shade it will never see sunlight so the water will stay wonderfully cool for the girls This is a view from the other side, showing the garden hose. Just goes through my fence and then up to that barrel up there.